Hey drummers, I'm Brad Schluter, a contributor at Drum Magazine. In this video drum lesson, I'm going to demonstrate all the examples from my recent Drum Magazine article on the great drummer Hal Blaine, who sadly passed recently at the age of 90. As a member of the collection of studio musicians known as the Wrecking Crew, Blaine recorded with the Beach Boys, Elvis Presley, Frank Sinatra, John Denver, Simon and Garfunkel, and countless others. Over his career, Blaine recorded 35,000 songs, 6,000 singles, was on 40 number one hits, and was on six consecutive records of the year. Hal Blaine and the Wrecking Crew were an indispensable part of music producer Phil Spector's Wall of Sound Productions and many of his hits. And that's evident on the first song we're going to check out, which is Be My Baby by the Renettes. Hal Blaine's groove on the song was apparently a mistake that Spector liked. For this groove, Blaine played a half backbeat pattern with a single snare on count four, rather than on both two and four. The song also has percussion played by Frank Cap that includes castanets, hand claps, and very loud sleigh bells, playing an eighth note hi-hat rhythm that you can see entering during the second half of the intro of the transcription that will be below the screen. Sam Cooke's hit song, Another Saturday Night, may be one reason rock drummers often suffer from the four-bar itch. You know, that tendency to throw in a fill every four or eight bars? Blaine was asked to play a lot of fills during the song, almost like a drum solo, which to everyone's delight he did. His fills became commonplace and iconic in rock drumming. Here's a small section from the intro. These Boots Are Made For Walkin' was a number one hit for Nancy Sinatra and was successful in part due to the lyrics, part due to her singing, and part due to Chuck Berghofer's cool descending upright bass hook. The transcription begins at one of these bass hooks later in the song when Blaine begins to cut loose. There's a percussion part that occurs during this part that sounds like a drummer playing notes on the rim of a tom. This may have been played by drumming great Jim Gordon who was also listed as being on this session. I'll demonstrate that part as well. The outro of this tune is some fast and tasty snare fills from Blaine. Karen Carpenter had a beautiful voice and was a very talented drummer, but surprisingly Hal Blaine actually played on many of their hits. The Carpenter's song, Close to You, demonstrates a Blaine signature technique. He could often play a song with just his hi-hat and bass drum, and the verses of the song reveal this approach. Notice how Blaine would alternate using his stick tip and the shoulder of his hi-hat for the louder backbeat accents, and also the tasty concert tom fill that this transcription starts with. The Fifth Dimension's cover of Neil Sedaka's song, Puppet Man, showcases some of Blaine's more aggressive drumming. Blaine often used a set of concert toms to augment his studio drum set, and this became known as an Octa Plus once Ludwig added it to their catalog because it had eight concert toms in addition to the floor toms and double bass drums. The intro of this song has a very melodic tom fill where Blaine was apparently trying to play all of them. I don't have that many toms available, so I'll adapt his fill to my five tom kit.
The second part of this transcription occurs just before the songs fade out. At this point, Blaine plays a 16th note double bass part that leads into the rhythm hits. Just imagine that he snuck in a double bass groove into a top 40 song back in 1970. I think several generations of metal drummers owe him a thank you.